Hello everybody, welcome back. For this demo, I'm going to create a clean and simple card. I'm going to be using our frittle area, but I'm not going to be using all of the detail. So we're going to use it in a little bit of a different way. And we're going to use the overlapping texture, the A7 stamp. I love these stamps together. And what we're going to do is we're going to use paints. I've got white card, pink frog card, and it's four and a half inches by six and a half inches. I'm going to begin with my overlapping texture stamp, which you can see is well loved and well used. And what we're going to do is we're going to gray our paint onto the stamp, just, just to give it a different look. And if I bray the paint, it will give more of an aged vintage look because I won't get all a, a precise image. I'm hoping it'll give me an aged image. I just press that lightly. And I'm not using an acrylic block on this occasion because I just want exactly what I've got there, a vintage feel. So it's not a complete image and it looks fab. If I just bring that up, can you see here where you don't have all the detail, you have the jaggedy edges? That's just what I want, that's perfect. What you need to make sure you do is that you clean your stamp because you can't leave that paint on that stamp because you'll, when you come to stamp it the next time, you'll lose all that amazing detail. So you just need that to give that a good clean. Not that my stamp looks much cleaner anyway, but make sure that paint is off there. And we'll just clean up this little bit of moisture like so and we'll just give that a little dry even though we've not used much paint we'll just give it a little dry and then i'm going to bring in my fritillaria stamp and what i've done on this stamp is i've literally used some low tack tape just to cover these areas so that i don't ink those areas so i'm going to ink my stamp Again, a good inking of the stamp. And then I'm, all I need really is the stem in the middle part. I don't really want anything else. So I think we've got all that wonderful detail there. And as you can see, I can remove this low tack tape. And then we haven't got all of that detail in the background. It just makes you use your stamp in a little bit of a different way that's all just gives it a different look so that you, you you're using your stamps in as many different ways as possible and i like to do that so i'm bringing this on the side just so i can look where i want my image and i'm thinking i'm going to have it slightly off center i think that'll be quite good to get that slightly off center so i'm just allowing that ink as always to rest on the card I'm not in a rush to lift that. And then I'm just going to lift this acrylic block because these acrylic blocks are flexible. I do find them fantastic for making sure that you get this central area here. So I'm just lifting that up and we should have, can you see how sticky the paint still is even with that little bit of paint? And there we go. You have this little bit of detail, but you haven't got all this detail here, which is perfect, just what you want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of card. In fact, we'll take two pieces of card. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of changing my mind again now. I do this when I'm doing videos. I change my mind all the time. I'm terrible. So we take our brayer, take the paints, and we're going to take the Byzantium, which the paint doesn't want to come out of the, the bottle just because I'm, I'm live. And we'll just take that cream and then what we're going to do is bray it through those two paints to blend those paints. And then I'm going to bray it onto my spare piece of card. Look at that blend of colour. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic blend. And we've still got some paint here. So let's go on to another piece of card. Why not? Create as many backgrounds as possible with that tiny bit of paint that we used. I just love that. So we'll just clean our mess up again, just so that we don't get a mess into a mess. I'm being well trained just while we're on the video. 
And what you can see we've got here is we've got our card and two backgrounds. Just give those a dry. You need to give those a dry because you don't want to stamp onto wet paint. You see, and that background is just too nice not to use. That background is beautiful. So I think I'm going to stamp the image once again. So I'm going to stamp the image on this once again so we'll have two cards. We may, we may as well go with the flow. I hadn't planned this, but I may as well use that background. It seems a shame not to use that beautiful background. So I'm giving that stamp a good inking again. And this time I'm using all the detail apart from the top area. So I'm not using this top area here. And again, I'm holding that card, or I'm having that card on its side, just so I can see where to place this. And I can place that beautifully over that background. And this time I'll get all this text as well. So just lift that up. Again, I always lift the stamp and there's a bit of moisture on that stamp. And then lift this side up as well, because then you'll make sure that you get that central area. And lift that up. And there we go, we've got a beautiful image. Absolutely beautiful. And we've got two different looks there, but none of them are too over cluttered. We're going to use this piece of card just to blot the image because you do get quite a bit of ink off there, can you see? So you do need to blot that image. It's important, make sure that you blot it. And if you're not going to blot it, then just give it a little dry with your heat tool just to make sure that that ink is not going to smudge when you do anything else. What I'm going to do then is move these out of the way and this is the third background we've created. And what we can do now is stamp our little Fritillaria flower head. Try saying that uh, when you've not had enough sleep like me. The word comes out all wrong. So just press that flower head onto the paint, beautiful image. Stamp it a second time, and we're going to use this for dimension on our main card. Just stamp that on there, move that out of the way. There we go, we've got two beautiful flower heads. Again, I'm going to block that image, just because we're going to cut those out. And there was no need to prep cutting these out because to be honest, it only takes a few moments because they're so easy to cut out. And I really have gone off on a tangent because I was creating one card and now I've decided to create two. So it's just the way I go really. When inspiration strikes, I go with it. And I have found that the more I use the stamps, the more I want to use them. Do you ever get like that? So the more I create, the more I want to create. I do find that. Whereas if I have a break or I go on holiday, it takes me a while to get back again. But because I've been creating most days, it, it, you sort of come up with more ideas. Perhaps that's me just waffling to myself. I often waffle to myself on videos. I'm really good like that. Whoops. So we're just cutting these out, which you can see doesn't take more than a couple of minutes. And then we're going to bend those petals, that those flower heads, not petals, flower heads. Just bring these two cards in and then we're going to adhere these like so. And you always test your glue before you go live and it still doesn't work. Just add that to there like so and then add the second one. So we're creating two cards at the same time even though we'd only planned one card. But that's what happens when, if you feel inspired, then you just go with the flow. And we've still got this bit of background left, so why not use it? So I'm going to ink this Fritillaria text up. Just ink that image up, that text up, not image. Ink that text up, and we're going to stamp that. Let's move these out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. And we're going to stamp that here on the background. Just that Fritillaria wording. There we go, and let's stamp it again because we've got two cards, so we can use it in two different ways. 
so we can add one to the purple area and one to the more creamy area and just stamp there I love having the words of the actual flower within the within the text I love it so there we go we've got the little area text there so just blot that you should be used to me doing this by now blotting just give that a little dry because we are going to cut our image out of text out now if I wasn't doing a video I wasn't live then I would cut these out with my trimmer but we're going to wing it and we're going to cut it out normally when I'm cutting out I, I remove the I sort of bring it towards me and forget that I'm doing a video and then go off camera so I'm trying to remember to stay on camera I'm such a professional so just going to trim that like so trim that so we've got one there and then we've got one on the purple background just trim and I often find when I'm cutting I, I do tend to go quiet do you do that when you're at home you're concentrating on so much mind you I suppose when you're at home you're not talking to yourself like I am at the moment I know you're there now when this goes live on her chanda, but I'm talking to myself at this moment in time. So what I'm going to do is bring this in and I'm going to add, see you can decide which one you want where. So I'm going to have this one on here and add that. Because if I add it to the other one, it's going to get a bit lost there. So I'm going to add this to this one, like so. So add that slightly off center like so and then add this one to this card like we have here just add that there and you've got two different cards that look totally different and if we just get a couple of these metal embellishments for just bring in a couple of these metal embellishments and what you could do is let's get our black cards so you can see what they look like black card always makes everything pop so let's place these on a black card just so you can see that they just make those pop and then what we can do is add a couple of these metal embellishments I'd add them there you don't need me to add them because you can see what they would look like and there you go we planned one card and now we've created two cards in two different ways in the same color palette with the fabulous Fritillaria stamp. I hope you've enjoyed the one day special and I hope you feel inspired by the demonstrations. It's been lovely to have your company. I hope you all staying safe and I'll hopefully see you soon. Bye.